Okay, so as promised, just kind of a quick video going through how to enter this stuff on a calculator, because I know some of this stuff is kind of new in terms of entering on a calculator, okay? So I'm just going to show you using the exact same example from page 50 in the notes, the one we did in the video lesson, okay? How would you enter this? Because I find students sometimes get intimidated by this, same in the physics unit when we saw it, right? It's no different, yet it's just a number. It's a big number, but it's just a number, okay? So if I'm entering this, I want to do 0 0.75, well, no problems there, right? 0 0.75, okay? Then I'm gonna do times, okay? So 0 0.75 times. If you wanted, you could put that in brackets, but it's gonna be okay here, okay? Times, how do I do this? Well, just like it says, 1.26 times 10, okay? Here's where it gets tricky, to the power of nine, okay? So 10 to the power of, you might have a different button. Every calculator is different. Mine looks like that, a little y to the x for to the power of. So you can go to the power of, see that? 1.26 times 10 to the power of nine. And there we go. That's the same answer we got in the video, right? So that was nine, four, five, zero, 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 or 945 million. Be careful counting out your zeros because we're dealing with big numbers here, right? A lot of the time we're dealing with very old stuff, okay? You could also, if you want, if you don't want to deal with putting that all in at once, at the beginning, you can just say, okay, I'm just going to turn that into a normal number. So you could have done 1.26 times 10 to the power of nine. Right, got that, written that down. So rewritten this as, right? And then just said, okay, so then age equals that. And then that's a little less weird to type in the calculator. Yeah, it's a little more work, maybe a little more writing, but if you don't feel comfortable typing that in your calculator, you can just go ahead and take it out of scientific notation too, right? And then you could just say 0.75 times one, be careful counting your zeros. Two, six, zero, 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 zero. And you'll get the exact same answer. Okay, so just a refresher on how to type these big numbers into your calculator.